Hi guys, it's all sick and it's about 1.30 in the morning and I cannot sleep. Um, as a side note, I just want to say that I'm recording this on my little phone camera, hoping to see if the quality is any better than my webcam and we will proceed from that direction. Although I am using my light since it's, like I said, very early in the morning. I have nothing planned for tomorrow's video, so let's just talk for a moment. I was in a lot of pain today, so I didn't get to put out a video. I have what is called runner's knee, and it's where the cartilage in between your two bones is too soft, so it grinds and it tears, and it's a constant pain, but sometimes it's heavier than the rest of the day or whatever but pretty much as soon as I woke up until still now it has been a constant pain that's making me feel very sick today and that's why I have no video for you tomorrow because I normally tape them a day ahead of time um I've been reading a lot though I love to read Victorian romance novels by like Sophie Barnes and Samantha Grace and that's like my little guilty pleasure that's I don't know I'm a deep deep down truly hopeless romantic person um yeah but there's there's this thing it's not really a thing but there's a thing that I have noticed but it's not a thing that there are two sides to being alternative or to being like whoever you are in general and it's kind of amusing because i'm so used to dressing up and putting on makeup and it's always like exaggerated and out there and doing things that put me out there because that's where i'm comfortable at and I put on mistress's makeup and we went to ShopRite to get some food and pick up her medicine. And she did not want to leave the house. After I had done it, she said that she loved the makeup and it was beautiful and she took a whole bunch of pictures. And as soon as we got downstairs and everyone started commenting it, she got really shy and she like, in a sense, blamed it on me. And I was like, hold on, girl, you, you just said that you liked it. Like, be honest with me. If you don't like it, I can understand. But if you do, then tell me. I'm like, there's no reason to be that shy. So she's like, oh, I don't want to go out wearing this makeup. And I was like, I'll go just as this and you can go just as that. And, and it'll be better. So I kept, like, conversing with her as we are walking down the street and being extra retarded, if you want to say like, just doing really stupid stuff so that she would forget about her face being painted, oddly. So, because she's more of a butch um, type of female where she just, she doesn't do makeup unless it's, like, black or, like, um, some thick eyeliner. Like, very, very minimal makeup. So, to my amusement, a couple of guys give us compliments calling us beautiful with their little cat calls. And that always makes me feel better. I think, you know, just like, I don't know, just being in a way applauded for being who you are, or what you like to be dressed upon. And it's a constant thing I struggle with all the time because it's like, I have to get a job and I don't have a job right now. And people are going to look at you badly if you show up how you want to show up to a job. And da, da 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 and people are like, you need to conform. And then other people are like, you're beautiful for not conforming. And it's a constant struggle of going back and forth, back and forth. Especially like, for instance, my lip rings and my septum piercing. Everyone's like, you need to take it out and blah, blah, blah. And like, those things close very fast for me. And if I take them out, Within 30 minutes, they will be completely closed and I will have to re-pierce them and I hate the healing process. So it's really not worth it to me. And then I will talk to like a, um, I don't know if you want to call it like a state worker or whatever, like, like a social worker pretty much to help me 
<clears throat> look for jobs and everything and they want to know about my situations and I explained to them that <clears throat> in my opinion my piercings is exactly to me what the color of your skin is to you there's it's no less or it's exactly that to me in my personal beliefs I am very attached to how I look and to having them in my face so much so that I have bawled my eyes out for hours when I've had to take one of them out and it closed up on me and then I ended up repiercing them anyways but and then she's just like be you and I'm just like can you tell the rest of the public assistance people and whatnot that, please? Because that would be wonderful. I'm like, I'll work at fucking Subway if I have to. You just got to make that money. And it's really confusing because it's like, where do you stand in all of that? Where are you supposed to know how to... How to approach somebody? Like, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I'm tired as hell. I have insomnia, so that doesn't very much help, does it? No. And I'm pretty sure that this video might even end up upside down, because I don't know which way you're supposed to record on a camera. I have it sideways, though, in the landscape way, so I'm hoping that turns out alright. And I know that I'm rambling, and I hope that you still stick with me and give me comments back let's have a conversation i don't just want to be talking to a camera i want to talk to people i want to get to know people i'm terrified of people so much so that when i walk down the street i will put on my bitchiest face ever so that nobody approaches me because i'm terrified of someone approaching me like i will say the weirdest things you'll be like hi and i'll be like salmon because i'm scared I am so antisocial that I have passed out in Walmart from a salesman asking me if he could help me. So, not my proudest moments, but there you go. Um, and I'm still not completely comfortable on camera. It might seem like I am, but I take about 5 or 10 minutes before I start filming to just breathe or have a cigarette or just just say no like a lot of times i'll start and i'll be like hi it's Helsa here and then like immediately click off because i'll start shaking or something so that's pretty much that um yeah i just i wanted to say that just you know i'm a normal human being too I want to talk and converse and not just be a channel, like I said a moment ago, who's just talking to a camera. So I'm sorry about all the rambling, and I just had to get it off my chest. I'm still feeling very sick and in pain and tired. And my mom spent all day in the hospital trying to figure out what's wrong with her. She has this thing where her blood is vanishing, in a sense, from her body. And there's no specific outlet. Like, they can't figure out what's wrong. So anytime she starts breathing heavy or feel like she's going to faint, I urge her to go to the hospital to get her blood checked and whatever. And thankfully, her levels were fine. She was just a little bit dehydrated. And she was having the touches of pneumonia. And so they put her on that and then um, a sleeping medicine as well because she likes to wake up at, like, two or three o'clock in the morning and be up for like two or three hours before going back to bed which makes her sleep all day which as you may or may not know can lead to a depressive state of mind and it's a hard battle man but so it's been a long day even though i wasn't with her in the hospital i did stay by the phone and wait and just the waiting and the nervousness and knowing is she going to be admitted or is she coming back home like it's it's um it can be draining but i hope you like this video anyways and if it's just rambling nonsense please tell me and i'll refrain from posting something like this in the future um i hope that you like subscribe comment and just you know stick with me things will get better eventually i'll get a better camera 
and I'll come up with new styles. Right now, I'm very limited in my income and the fact that I only get around 180 a month. So that's really not a lot. I try to get what I can get and, you know, I like to go thrift shopping a lot too, so that works. Anyways, I hope you guys have a pleasant day or night whenever I post this or whenever you watch this. And please, honestly, send me a message. Let me know that you're there because I see the views, but I want you to talk too. I want to get to know you, in a sense, and find out maybe tips or tricks or what you want to see as well. So I hope that this whole video wasn't a fuckery, and um, I'll see you next time. Toodles.